Hello everybody, this is Martin Van Durham. How is everyone of YouTube doing today? As you can see, we're in a somewhat different little, uh, uh, position, I should say. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are not going to be doing a tasting video, we're not going to be doing a reaction, we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be spouting my intellects on you all. Today we're going to be building... We're not going to be building a ship. We're going to be building a ship, a historical one. This is my first video on this product. And this is my first video of any kind that involves Lego or Lego like little construction bricks. Anywho, let's get started. Today on Martin Van Durham's channel. I have not come up with a series name for this yet because this will definitely be more of if it becomes more requested and whatnot. But today I'm going to be building this. This is the SS Californian. This was a vessel that was somewhat involved with the sinking of the Titanic. And how you may ask is that question is the fact, well, the ship itself, the SS Californian, was actually in the same vicinity as the Titanic when the incident was occurring with the Titanic as a it's sinking. Well, what happened freaking was is that this boat right here, half of its crew member was mainly like asleep or doing other things, not really noticing what was happening. I mean, the radio man, for God's sake, was asleep, I think. And even the captain. But there were some people still out on the decks and they could see the flares coming off from the Titanic in the distance. They could actually see somewhat of the ship, but they were so far away they could only see the flares, but they knew that position that was the Titanic. But what they thought it was, was like some sort of party or something. They really didn't actually know what was going on. So they just kept continuing. They didn't know about anything until like the very next day. And we all know what ship came and helped and saved the passengers who survived of the Titanic. That was the RMS Carpathia. And as I try to get this fucking open, I would also like to inform you all that either neither of these ships are even in existence anymore. Because obviously the Titanic sank and whatnot. But also, why is this hard to come off? Oh, shit. Also, unfortunately, this very vessel that I am going to build is also, unfortunately, under the water. This boat sank a little time later after it was struck by a torpedo, unfortunately. These are the two bags. These have little parts and stuff that go for the structure and all that. This is, this is mainly the main ship right here. It's just this bag. It's, it's a smaller vessel than the other two I have. It's probably maybe a little bit longer than the freaking SS Nomadic. But I'm not sure. It, it probably is. Because the SS Nomadic's a little, little short, actually. Because I have two other Histo brick ships. And they are of the RMS Empress of Ireland in the SS Nomadic. Two videos I wish I actually would have uploaded, but you can find pictures and stuff and whatnot on my Facebook and shit, but that's for my friends and all that, and who have me on Facebook. You can find posts of the SS Nomadic and the RMS Empress Island on my Facebook. And that's if you know me personally. If you don't, don't try to. You're not gonna find me. Uh... This has over 214 Lego elements. It is one dot dot 640 scale. I don't exactly know how to read that correctly. And um, as Histobrick states, this is by the company by Histobrick is what I want to say as well. Histobrick kits are not exclusively a Lego product. I just put the word exclusively because they're not from Lego at all. This is not trademarked by Lego. This has nothing to do with the brand Lego. They are just using Lego bricks and some 3D UV printed pieces that Lego does not actually create. So while they're getting their pieces from third party sources, they also do make their own unique pieces via 3D printing. And also, if you go on Histobrick's um, website, they actually have now dog tags 
authentic genuine dog tags of an actual dog military dog tag making machine that was made specifically for that for the wars back way back then in like the 1800s and you could you could go to pistol bricks uh, social medias and you can find pictures of that there and that is an old piece of technology that still works and the dog tags are like ten dollars a piece or something like that so that too oh what the heck is this huh okay but anywho we are going to build this like i said this is the Californian. Oh, and we actually have some information here on the first little page of the manual. The SS Californian was built by the Caledon Shipbuilding and Engineering Company in Dundee, becoming the largest ship to have been built there until then. The steamship was launched on November 26, 1901, and was 447 feet long, 53 feet wide, and had a gross tonnage of 6,223 tons. She made her maiden voyage from Dundee to New Orleans on January 31st, 1902, and over the following years, the ship continued over the continued to cover the route between America and the United Kingdom, transporting goods and passengers. From 1911, the ship was commanded by Stanley Lord, whose skills have seen him as become a captain at the tender age of 24, and who for a year steered the ship without any problems. However, on April 14, 1912, the infamous year of the Titanic sinking, and they, while sailing to Boston as usual, he noted the presence of large ice flows and informed nearby ships via macaroni wireless apparatus. At 11 p.m., the wireless operator Sir Cyril Evans tried to warn the Titanic, a proposal that was rejected by his partner Jack Phillips, who returned off the equipment. Minutes later, the tragedy began. So, yes, another part that I probably didn't really know was that that okay that's actually kind of new information there for me i did not realize that the dude was trying to actually raise awareness through the titanic that they were going to be in an ice shield and i didn't know that they were the ones that also did that because the titanic was given multiple warnings and all were avoided because the captain edward j smith believed in himself more than anyone else because of him being such a well-seasoned captain and now he still rests within the ship at the bottom of the Atlantic, unfortunately. May he rest in peace, Mr. Edward. But, anywho, back to the Californian. This is the fourth paragraph. The, the third I meant. The Californian's crew members noticed how from the Titanic, which they could see from in the distance, more signals were made with reflectors to which they responded without obtaining a response. Uh... 45 at 0:45 a.m. they could see white rockets being fired from the Titanic, which is what I mentioned earlier. Responding with more unanswered searchlight signals. Again, it would not be until 4:30 a.m. that they were sight that they sighted the RMS Carpathia, when with they communicated with a yeah, in which they communicated with that ship. They were informed that the Titanic had gone down. So. That's what I was meaning, i.e. the ship didn't know until the day later, i.e. the cap, uh, cap the, yeah, the Carpathia told him, the very rescue ship that came to the aid, and was the farthest freaking out, but somehow the closest, other than the California. There was like also two other ships in the vicinity too, but they were the farthest away that they knew they wouldn't be able to make it. And I, e, I don't remember what those ships are. I'd have to go and look back at and research this whole situation again for me to understand that. But a Californian approached the place, but it was already too late. The Carpathia had rescued the survivors while it was withdrawing. It entrusted the Californian to check the area in search of more lives without success. Lord and his officers were called to testify after the tragedy, and despite avoiding conviction, Lord lost his reputation and was fired, trying for the rest of his life to salvage his reputation. Proper punishment, honestly. And finally, the SS Californian continued with its activity during the following years, and this is where I'm going to get my last part at before I ended up starting to read this manual. 
This is the end of the Californian. When the first... <laughs> Okay, let me restart this over. The SS Californian continued with its activity for during the following years. However, when the First World War broke out, it began to transport equipment and troops, basically becoming a military ship under very secretive advances. Unfortunately, those advances were halted as she was sunk on the November of 9th, 1915 by a German submarine at Cape Matpen while en route from... Thessalonica to Marseille, uh, no, Marseille, and to this day, it has not been possible to find her remains? But, no, what? Okay, that part maybe I need to go a little bit more deep of, because I could have sworn I've seen pictures of a wreck. All right, let's build this thing. <laughs> I done can I done just lost myself there. That just confused the hell out of me. Time to build this, and also time to take this off. Oh, I only was doing that for the intro and reading and all that, but damn, that was getting uncomfortable on my nose. Hey, let's build this, and plus I need my eyes to see what the actual hell I'm doing. I'm doing us on a CD, and what CD you may ask? Deuce. Deuce Invincible. So, Big Deuce, if you watch this, um, shout out to you, my guy. Come back, goddammit. I'd like to see you make come back with brand new freaking music, man. I like Hollywood and Dead, but I like you too. Yeah. Also, um, oh, I should probably not talk about that. Never mind. Let's get some of these out. Because we need two of those. So, at least so. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to yeah, set those over here on that side. And yes, I am seriously going to do this on a CD. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> All right, you're going to need this piece. Ah, yeah, flip the other way. On a 4x4 four four long stick. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, this also may take a bit. So, I may add some lo-fi to this if i'm not speaking or anything if i can figure out how to do that <laughs> okay let me see i need a one by one and a three by fuckery fuck Ugh. yeah i was trying to burp there yeah yes i was <laughs> uh boop. oh sorry i probably should be fucking Showing y'all what the actual hell I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't realize. Okay. Actually, yeah. Damn. I will get a table in my room one day so I can do this shit on. <laughs> Not on my bed. <laughs> um. Uh, let's see. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a very strange Lego builder. Like, I will just ramble to myself and stuff. But this is going to be an interesting little build. Considering it's smell, it's a smell, it's a smell boat, it's a small little Lego boat, which I really don't understand why they didn't make it more to scale of what the hell, the, I, I don't know, but I like these concepts, and it's a concept I actually came up with a long time ago, it's just I never knew how to utilize it, because I always thought of like, hey, Lego, why not make historical ships, because I've been hi into historical ships since I was like 12 and I'm 23 so you do the math <laughs> what the heck okay so there's that that ah here it is yeah that was funny these little eh, lantern pieces and snap it to do dad that on right I'm snapping them on right yes I am Gotta hope I am. Snap that on. Snap the one by one on. Snap that one by one on. Yes, I am. I am doing this right so far. Okay. So this is what we got so far. Just that. And this right here is going to turn into a tiny replica of a ship. Bear the frick with me. This may take a minute. <laughs> it's already at 14, so this may take several minutes. And I'm using a CD to hold the freaking booklet down because it ain't big and it wants to freaking close itself. Uh, let me see. I need a 
Oh, I need... Oh, yeah, no, I do need that. Uh, I need one of those. I need one of, one of the two-by-twos. Oh, that is a... Ah. Okay. That's being put there. This is being put there. So now we have like a, a weird little bridge thing. Which I've also kind of realized this is going to be the center of the ship. There's going to be like three little added things on, added onto the side. And what? And I'm going to need a, a gray piece and I'm going to need a tan piece. Probably should have organized these, but I didn't. So, like I said, bear with me. As this is a very different video on my channel. And one that I will probably do more of because I like spouting intellectual shit. In intellectual. In electrical. Why do I like to say electrical? Maybe I like electricity too much. I don't know. But every time I like, I try to say intellectual, it, you know what I mean. Yeah, damn it. I can't say it. Don't know why I can't say it, but I can. I know I can. I've, I've said it before, but I don't know why I can't right now. But. No, it is beyond me. There we go. Got another one. Got, that's the tan and gray pieces. So, there. And, uh... I'll be fucked up if you can't be right here. What can I say? Do, 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 do. Why do I have this song in my freaking head? Do, 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 do. <sighs> Don't ask. I'm a very, very strange individual. And I stopped caring about my strangeness a long time ago. Because it's who I am. And I should never be ashamed of who I am. Because I'm a very quirky and strange individual. And if you don't like it, you can leave. Hair, you can leave. You're not a part of the set. Thank you. Why am I trying to sound like Frank Sinatra? I don't know. Eh. 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 What the hell? Oh. <laughs> I was about ready to say, why is it not going in like that? There we go. And uh, also, um, if you guys or whoever pays attention to my channel and watches my stuff, if you'll notice, I have a lot, a lot of shorts. And if you guys are wondering where I was a certain Tuesday, I was at a concert called the Freaks on Parade Show, uh, Freaks on Parade Tour, and that was of Static X, Rap, Zombie, Bud Vane, and Power Man 5 fucking thousand. And it was a blast. I tell you what, that was probably one of the best metal concerts I think I've ever been to. Could have used a little bit more rowdiness in the pit, but eh, people were drinking. Some people wanted the fucking video cord. I wanted the mosh, but no, I mean, I was up in the goddamn seats. So this metal concert I sat for. Until Mudvayne and them came on, then I couldn't get my ass out of my seat. Uh, stay out of my seat. I kept getting up. In the opening acts, yeah, you could sit through. But I would have rather moshed. I mean, I wasn't trying to be rude. Other people weren't getting up. But when Mudvayne came on, dude, the whole crowd started standing. I'm over here like, y'all didn't stand for Power Man or Static? Come on. They're also really great groups. I mean, I, I could have stood too, but I'd be blocking motherfuckers behind me because everyone else was sitting. Every, that entire damn venue was sitting for the first two sets of the group. And it was weird. I was like, come on, man. Everyone should be up and at them, ready to fucking rock and roll when these guys come on. But no, half of everyone was sitting, I mean, including I, but like I said, I was being respectful. There were people sitting behind me, and they were just sitting and watching. I couldn't actually stand up, because, you know, I was being respectable. Respectable. Excuse me, what? Oh, okay. I got it now. 
10 piece right here this piece right here and another piece right here right, right piece Alrighty. like I said this is going to be a pretty short build it's a pretty small build so it may not take as long but then again it may take long depending how actual fast I want to go this is already at the 20 minute mark so I will think I may speed up this video a bit but do I know how to do that with a phone nope so who knows this may be a long video you may have to drink through it And hear my insistent ramblings while I make it. But on about the ship, though, not really much about me. On with the ship. This is a very, it was a very neat little thing. And again, if it weren't for the freaking idiocracy of half the crew, um, they probably would have been able to save well of more passengers on the sinking Titanic before it actually went completely under. So, unfortunately, over 1,000, over, like, 400, 500 people. I don't know how many actual people. I don't remember how many people actually died on the Titanic, but it was a lot. And it's sad that really all those people aren't here. Living this life. Well, I mean, they wouldn't be here, even if they would have survived. I mean, shit, there's really no survivors of the Titanic around anymore, if I remember correctly. I think they all got old and passed away. I could be wrong. Please, if someone knows anyone from the Titanic that's somehow still alive to this day, please let me know. And please, just slap me in the face for being wrong. Because I'm not trying to be prejudiced on anyone. So if I did make that mistake and there actually is someone alive from the Titanic still around today, comment down below. If you get to this part, I mean... Because this is gearing up to be a long video. Because I should have... I really should have organized these pieces. Because now I'm just like... Okay, where's the next piece? Uh, Got that one. Got that one. Yeah. Ah, here's that one. Here's that one. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of small pieces. That's what it looks like at the moment. Just to give you a little insight. Ah. And then another oh, one of these and another one of where'd it go? I just seen it. Oh my back, oh my back, oh my back, actually, oh my back. Ew, here it is. Brown, brown, brown. Oh no, crap. Ah. Man down. Man. That is how it looks like. Okay. So now I need a tan 2x2. Two two, a red fucker nut. A red fracker frack. Where did that go? There's a one by one tan right here. And a what? Oh. 
Is that a gray or black? Yeah, that's a gray. So at the moment, it's kind of just repeating steps at the second. So I'm... Wait, what? Okay, there it is for the bottom. Okay, this might be almost the length. I thought I had a jerk. Okay. I did. Alright, that's on. Uh. Note, I'm building the hall pretty much. The middle of the ship at the moment. In 14. We are now on step 14. But depending how long this takes, I may end up making this another part. Eh. I got that one. Ay caramba. Um, okay. It's a little weird, but okay. Um, a hand of that and of that. Oh, this is the bow. Okay, I was correct. This is the bow. Uh, oh, hands. There they are, they're in here. The only black hand piece I have. And the, eh, is now on my lap. Eh. God damn it. For some reason, stick that in there. Didn't tell me how to actually put it, so I put it in. Just uh, eh, eh, when is this little ah there it is ah there that is all right and this right here ladies and gentlemen is the start of the bow this is the bow of the ship so we went from stern to front so this is gonna be almost how pretty much how long this little ship is This is the front now. Oh, God, God, I that's okay. All right. Oh, 16. Now I got to reverse it, add more to the stern of the ship. Okay, so we need. What is that, a brown piece? Yep, brown one by one, a gold one, and a tan two by two. Tan two by two. A gold thingy. And, uh, uh, uh yeah. Mm -hmm. A little square duty. Yeah. Excuse me. Building a ship, building a ship. I think I might sink because I'm building a ship. It's Californian, I'm building a ship. It's the Californian, I'm building a ship. It's the Californian, I'm building a ship. It's the Californian, I'm building a ship. That's why I'm going to make a metal song about this. I do want to learn my guitars, as I want to, as I am. I'm not procrastinating on that anymore. All right, put that on. Put that on. Yeah, this is the stretching. 
How many of these? Oh. There's 50 instructions. Oh, God, this is going to be a minute. <laughs> yep, bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a minute. What the fuck? Uh, I need a gray thing. Yep, there we go. <sighs> Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows anything at all. 1819. Alrighty. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> oh, God. And I think after I get to 20, I'm going to stop, because this is going to be a long video. I'm going to just continue with the mm -hmm. next one. <sighs> it did say great, right? Alrighty, and here is a Okay, also, I may be mistaken, because this is a little bit longer than I thought it was. I thought it only came to, like, right here. No, it added a little bit more. And this is probably the end of the stir right here. <sighs> or not. <laughs> Seriously, no joke. There's a lot of parts here. 
or a little $70, $80 set. This thing is... It comes loaded with pieces. It really does. And, again, I... I props this man for what he's doing. And honestly, I would really like him to hire me. I mean, it may be a private business, I think, or something like that. But this is shit I'm into. Like, I would be a freaking child again just messing with all this. Coming up with different ideas for ships and designs. I feel like I have that power to do that. Just I don't have the ability at the moment. I don't have the financial support i don't i'm not good with money i'm getting better at that slowly but surely but in time i may try to help my hand in working my way into this kind of business because i would not mind working for lego or something like this eh. oh no what is oh uh, 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 oh no Am I missing a piece? Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, I... No. Yeah. Ah. Oh, no. Where? Am I missing a piece? What the hell? Okay, I may need to turn on that light. Oh, sorry. I think I got a light. Hopefully it ain't too bright. Okay, actually, it's... <laughs> Shit, I should have probably done this sooner. It actually looks better in here on my camera. Now I can actually somewhat see better of what I'm doing. I'm looking for another one of these because we're doing this again. So let me see. Something. You know what? Thank God I have it. I have all this on a white background, aka my pillow. Pillow. My bed. I don't have my sheet on it, but that's. A story for a different day. I'm not going to get into that here because that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is me trying to build this fucker. But it appears I may have a missing piece because I don't see another little square duty somewhere. Oh, frico frasso. Oh, no. Mm. Mm. Shit. Okay. Um... It appears I may be missing a piece. And it's a little square duty. One of these brown ones. Because it says... Because it calls for a brown one. Two of them, right? Oh, no! One! I have this on the other side. I'm stupid. <clears throat> Sorry. Great. Now they're both on the floor. Thank God they landed it next to me. I'd be looking on the floor for hours for this shit. Sorry I curse so much, but this is really not intended for younger audiences, because I'm not for the younger audience. I curse like a sailor, and no one needs to hear that. Other than adults, because I'm 23. If you couldn't tell. I have a weird baby face when I shave. That's why I have the mustache and everything. Because I'm actually trying to look like an adult other than a prehubescent teen in his freaking high school career, which I already finished. Fucking four years ago. All right. The red duty. Uh, two by two black. And a uppy doozy. There we go. I don't know all the names of these of Lego bricks, so sorry if I'm naming them weird. There's a few that I actually know, but there's a few that I actually don't know. Alrighty, so now we need a good piece of the black piece. So the gray. Whoa. What the hell kind of stud is that? Yeah. Oh, not it. Not it.
Oh no, what the hell? Um, I'm sorry I'm standing like this, but my back actually really much hurts. Oh. I need the what? Oh, one of those. What the fuck? Why? <sighs> Getting hot. That damn AC needs to be gone. Oh, I'm making the propellers now. Boop. Put that on. Excuse me, who is this one again? Let's say fucking many of them. Uh. Well, I missed up that. And that. I might actually have a missing piece. I'm not finding this. Yeah, I got you. Got you. But what I don't have is a gray one. Don't actually freaking frackle tell me I actually have a freaking frackle missing piece. I keep saying that because I'm so fucking confused at the second. I'm missing a gray one by one. I actually don't see on this yet. What the hell? Uh, is that a gray one by one or is that a black one? What is a gray? I'm sorry, but what? Mm. Mm. I was reading it wrong.
That's what I was getting confused about. And that's what we have so far. Alrighty. I think I'm going to go and do part two. Peace out, guys.